Well, just a couple of weeks remain before students take their end of the year state reading test. And for third graders especially, the stakes could not be higher. That's because starting this year, if third graders don't pass the test, they may have to repeat the grade unless they show improvements in summer tutoring. So far, efforts in Nashville to water down what's known as the third grade retention law have failed. Our Stefan Reels is live from a school in Fraser now with how Memphis Shelby County Schools are hoping to help prepare kids for this. Stefan. Well, Richard, right now this is especially worrisome for MSCS schools because last year around four out of five of their third graders wouldn't have scored proficient enough on their TCAP test in order to move on to the next year. So. For the past few months, they have been ramping up their tutoring efforts, and tonight, places like Delano will be hosting family data nights so parents can see where the district, and more importantly, where the students stand. There's just a few weeks to go. I'm always nervous. I, I want our students to do their very best. That's why Memphis Shelby County Schools are making their final push before the third grade students take the state's reading test next month. I think that we have prepared them, but again, we'll be waiting on those results. If third graders don't finish proficient or higher on the reading test, they either have to go through tutoring, the Summer Learning Academy, or risk repeating the grade entirely. There are a lot of parents. It's, it's very upset with it. Arnesia Bailey is among the many third grade parents frustrated and concerned about the new law. It's very stressful, not only for the parents, but for the, the students. It doesn't matter if you've gotten on a roll, principal list, if you don't pass this, then you fail. And I just don't think that, I don't think it's fair. That's why MSCS is encouraging concerned parents to attend their child's school family day tonight to get a better sense of where the students stand. Make sure you know how they did on the winter assessment, the winter diagnostic. The nights give parents a clear idea of their child's progress throughout the year and what they may need to do in the weeks before the state's testing begin. If students can go up, come home, focus on already 30 minutes a day, that will be uh, such a help, such a support for the school while also providing answers to parents' concerns about what steps come next for families after the exam itself. We are here and we're going to be guiding them throughout this process. So I don't want parents to feel that they won't know the next step because they will know the next step and the next step and the next step. Now, if you want to figure out when your child's family data night is. You can always go to MSCS's website to figure out those exact dates and times. But the question on everyone's mind right now is where does the school district stand? District leaders tell us that the students are showing that they are rebounding from some of the negative effects on their literacy rates because of the pandemic. But of course, we won't really know to what degree they are rebounding until we have those test results in our hand. But for now, live in Fraser, I'm Stefan Reels.